hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel yes if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and join the amazing family today we are gonna pray we are going to rebook the enemy we are going to rebook the devourer in our life so i want you to get ready just take this few minutes of your time to pray together with me as we read the scripture and we pray so stay blessed in the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 20 the Bible says but I will remove far from you the northern army and will drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face towards the east sea and his hinder path towards the outer sea and his things shall come forth and his ill several shall come forth because he has done great things because our God is faithful and our God will remove any kinds of armies and those things that are fighting to never see us go far or never see us progress so whatever the devil is planning he is planning in vain in the book of Zechariah chapter 3 verse 2 the Bible says that, and the Lord said unto Satan the, the, the Satan the Lord rebuke him all oh, Satan even the Lord has chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee is not this a brand plucked out of the fire so this is to rebuke any power any spirit any all the principalities and power that are fighting over your life that are fighting to take over your life understand that your God is able and I'm casting them away in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord rebuked thee, O Satan, in the life of the people of God. The Lord rebuked thee, O Satan, over the life of our family members. You have no power over our life because we are serving the Lord Jesus Christ, him that has all the power and all the authority in this world. So therefore be rebuked in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Zechariah chapter 8 verse 12, the Bible says, For the seed shall be prosperous, amen. The vine shall give her fruit, and the ground shall give her increase, and the heaven shall give their dew, and I will cause the remnant of his people to possess all these things. Amen. Whatever you put or whatever you touch shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be no barren in the house of God. You shall bear great fruit, because our God, our Lord, have already proclaimed us to be fruitful have already programmed us to be productive so therefore you shall be a great food and you shall be prosperous in Jesus name in the book of Malachi chapter 3 verse 11 the Bible says I rebuke the devil for your sake and he shall not destroy the fruit of the of your ground neither shall your vine cast his fruit before the time in the field said the Lord amen there is time for everything but when your time comes the devil has no power to control or to hinder what God have set before you you shall be prosperous in whatever you touch and your your your, 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 your seed will bear fruit in the due, due season that your seed will bear fruit in the due season in the mighty name of Jesus whether the devil like it or not you shall celebrate in Jesus precious name and I pray for restoration for whatever the devil have stolen away from you for years amen The Bible says in the, first, in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a rolling lion, is walking about, seeking whom he may devour. So the devil we are talking about is the enemy. The devil we are talking about is the devil. He said that, he is, that we have to be sober, we have to be vigilant. Have time with your God. Study the Bible, read your Bible, and as well meditate in the word of God so that you can cast down every evil thought of negativities in your life yes be vigilant in the Lord and when you give yourself to Christ when you consecrate yourself and commit yourself to the Lord the devil which is the enemy will not devour you will not kill you will not destroy you so therefore be strong in the Lord and put on the whole armor of grace Amen. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 14, the Bible says that I will give you the rain of your land in his due season, the first rain and the later rain that thou mayest gather in that corn and thou wine and thy oil. Hallelujah. So it says that God will give you 
when whatever you need to accomplish your work in life, all the provision that you need, what you have to understand, the Bible have said that you have to seek first the kingdom of God and every other thing shall be added unto us. So therefore, God have already made everything available for you to understand that he's the one that takes care of every move you make, every step you take. You can breathe, you can walk, you can, you can do greatness. So use the time you have now to glorify the name of God and know that God is always singing whatever is going on in your life. So may God bless you and have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. Bye.